Hello everybody, my name is Layla Kristoff, and today we're going to talk about Hero. Since the first DLC characters dropped in Smash 4, we've seen many interesting and infamous fighters join the roster for around $5.99, or perhaps none quite as outrageous as Hero. Representing multiple different protagonists from Dragon Quest's history, Hero brings one of the most popular gaming franchises in Japan to Smash. Unlike most of Smash's fighters, however, Hero comes from a series of traditional turn-based RPGs, and his moveset was designed to capture that RPG gameplay better than any other. This is initially apparent looking at his meter, a gauge that depletes as he uses various magic abilities. If you play just about any traditional RPG, you're familiar with the classic 2 meter system, one meter for your HP or health, and another for the cost of using your abilities. Hero takes the RPG elements a step further, however. His down special, Command Selection, brings up a list of attacks that he can choose from, much like taking a turn in an RPG battle. Command Selection provides a choice of four special attacks which aren't available anywhere else in Hero's moveset. This already gives him more attacks than any other character in the game, but his down special actually offers way more than just four options. Hero's Command Selection provides a total of 21 different attacks. Since the menu only lists four options at once, this introduces yet another, more polarizing RPG mechanic, RNG. If you don't know what RNG is, well, first you should subscribe to the channel so that you can learn much more, but RNG stands for Random Number Generation. It's a fancy technical term for how randomness can be programmed and results in plenty of wacky and crazy results in RPGs. And now, in Smash. The RNG finds its way into both Hero's command selection and his smash attacks, which have a 1 in 8 chance of critical hitting for massive power. Initial responses to Hero's RNG elements were strong, with many even suggesting a ban of the character in competitive play due to his inconsistent nature. Much time has passed since the character's release, however, and everyone has calmed down a bit about Hero. His RNG moves can be avoided pretty reactively, and his core attributes leave him vulnerable in a few areas. Hero is by no means a bad character, though. Salem has acquired some impressive results and wins using him, as has Sue in Japan. While it's pretty much agreed upon that he's no top tier, opinions on Hero are about as inconsistent as his moveset. This brings us to our question of the day. Do you think Hero is mid-tier or high-tier? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned to see if the RNG is in your favor for our result. There's no RNG to the benefit of ProGuides.com. If you're looking to take your game to the next level, our site has tons of resources to help you. Get in touch with a pro coach using our InstaPro feature, learn about your favorite characters through our guides, and tune in to a live course and play with the pros. Hero is a difficult character to judge when it comes to his wacky special moves, so let's start out by taking a look at everything that doesn't involve the B button. Hero has pretty average mobility. His dash and run speeds aren't too bad, and his airspeed and fall speed are slightly below average. This is mostly compensated for by his range. Although nothing to compete with Shulk, Hero's sword has effective range on all of his disjointed attacks. Back air in particular is pretty large, covering both horizontal and vertical space behind him. Similarly, up tilt is a very effective anti-aerial tool. In general, Hero's normals are pretty strong too. His back air will close out stocks very early off stage, and scales enough to be deadly anywhere on stage at higher percents. Between dash attack and up tilt, Hero also has some good options to KO opponents from a landing trap. With the critical hit, his smash attacks are absurdly strong, but Forest Smash is on the stronger side to begin with, getting early kills from hard punishes or reads. In terms of combo game, Hero is fairly average. He can typically combo down throw into a single forward air or nair, and at low percent, his fair can also link into a grab. His up air offers some ladder combos as well, but due to its narrow hitbox, opponents can usually DI out of this. The biggest weakness of Hero's normal attacks are their slow startup. His fastest sword aerial is nair at frame 8, and he'll often rely on fair and neutral, which is a sluggish frame 14. Back air, one of his safest kill options, is even slower at frame 18. His only fast aerial is up air at frame 6, but this move just covers a small range above him without disjoints. This slow startup leads Hero to struggle with fast characters who can stay in his face and keep him in disadvantage for long periods. As a result, Hero players will often retreat and use special moves. And boy, does Hero have some special moves. It's only natural for our minds to immediately jump to command selection, but Hero actually has some excellent specials in general. His neutral B is a chargeable fireball projectile, and it's one of the best in the game. 
The uncharged variant moves slowly and helps hero approach, even leading to some combos in the right situations. The tier 2 charge is surprisingly strong, KOing opponents off stage. And the fully charged Kafriz is fast and also extremely powerful, dealing tons of damage. Having a chargeable projectile also improves hero's movement and disadvantage state through B reversals and charge cancels. It's also good to note that the move can be charged even if you don't have enough mana to use it. A pretty pleasant surprise. Next, his side special is a great zoning tool that covers the space in front of him. The tier 2 Zapple has a surprisingly long range and decent power, and the fully charged Kazap is just a ridiculous move that you don't want to be anywhere near. It hits from almost every angle and all around hero, kills very early, and even has armor to protect him while attacking. Lastly, before command selection, Hero's Up B is a far-traveling recovery that has some other niche uses as well. The lowest charge Whoosh is very fast at frame 4, acting as a somewhat useful out-of-shield option to escape pressure. The fully charged Kaswoosh dumps a few gigantic tornadoes underneath Hero, which can KO recovering opponents or even sets up for some kill confirms if he grabs the ledge. And now for the command selection. The best option to choose is of course the subscribe button down below, <laughs> but we'll cover Hero's best options too. Among the 21 possibilities, some are weaker, basic projectiles, others are elemental sword slashes, but there are a few which are extremely useful. At high level competitive play, the absolute most important command options are the buffing moves. With Psych Up and Oomph, Hero can notably increase his damage and knockback output. In doing so, his moves also become safer and more dangerous on shield as well. With both of these buffs enabled at the same time, Hero's back air will break a full shield. Next is Bounce, an all-purpose reflector that allows Hero to move with full control while automatically reflecting any projectiles that would hit him. This option, along with other buffs, is very common to appear in the selection, giving Hero a frequent advantage against projectile characters. Perhaps his most exciting buff is Accelerate, this one makes Hero faster on the ground and in the air than any other character in the game. Although his frame data is still poor, skillful use of this mobility makes his gameplay almost unreactable and also opens up new kill confirms via aerial strings. The buffing moves are the best in competitive play because they're the most consistent. Even if the command options are random, the buffs are guaranteed to work when he gets them because they can't be dodged like an attack. When we step into the less consistent options though, Hero becomes a terrifying RNG factory. Terrifying to not just his opponent, but even the hero player themselves. First, he has Thwack, a massive AoE attack that, along with Whack, Kamikaze, and Metal Slash, is the only way to instant kill an opponent in competitive rule sets. This move has an RNG chance of taking the opponent's stock at any percent, with the odds increasing with their damage. The result is a mostly guaranteed kill at 100% or higher, and a possibility of one hit KOing your opponent on stage at zero. Definitely one of the more polarizing moves, but not the most. No, the most polarizing move in Hero's kit, and pretty much definitely the craziest attack in Smash history, is Hocus Pocus. For starters, Hocus Pocus is completely random. <laughs> completely random. When using it, you have the chance of activating any other command selection spell, which creates the chance of SDing with Kamikaze. But beyond that, Hocus Pocus can create drastic effects previously only seen with items, such as turning Hero Giant or Mini, or making him invincible or invisible. As wild as that is, it's very uncommon for a Hocus Pocus to turn the match in Hero's favor. In fact, its severe risk will dissuade most competitive players from using Hocus Pocus at all in an important tournament match. In addition to his struggles with disadvantage, Hero's command selection has its weaknesses too. For one thing, using the down special forces Hero to remain stationary, which both leaves him open and also makes it very easy to avoid any attacks he uses with it. Furthermore, his opponents can read the menu as well, and will typically be completely aware of which option the hero player has on the table. Even though buffs are useful and quite common, Hero still has to rely on RNG to get them in the selection, and may show up empty-handed when he needs the buff the most. His recovery with Kaswoosh is easy to two-frame and has limited horizontal distance, so Hero will sometimes be forced to go past ledge where he's very vulnerable. He can recover with Zoom, but this also forces him to rely on RNG and puts him in the air where he'll still have to land. Lastly, all of these special moves use up Hero's MP, and if he isn't able to land a hit on the opponent, this meter will refill very slowly. Not only is he severely lacking in tools without MP, but he'll be straight up unable to recover if he doesn't have enough MP for his up special. 
Taking a look at top player opinions, it's always smart to start with the best, and MKLeo considers Hero a high-tier character. Samsora does as well, although he makes a point of placing him in the low-high-tier category. Mars, on the other hand, puts Hero in mid-tier, as does Tweak. It's only natural that a character with so much RNG garners mixed opinions, but here's the thing. Hero is pretty good without relying on his most outlandish attributes. The combination of his decent sword spacing and skilled use of his regular special moves gives him a formidable neutral and advantage state. This, combined with fast reactions to his command menu, will create many opportunities for Hero to access his buffs, making him much scarier. With this foundation, he can still bust out the occasional thwack or magic burst to cheese out an early kill every now and then. Hero isn't great, but he's definitely good and can be played much more consistently than his reputation would imply. So we're placing him in high tier. So what do you think? Make sure to subscribe to see who we rank next. This has been Lady Luck Herself. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.